I'm Kurt Shimmers. Every day, fortunes are gained and lost in the financial markets. News, trends, and even geopolitical events shape your financial landscape. Join me and my expert guests right now on Traders Nation. Welcome. You are tuned in to Traders Nation. Thanks for making us a part of your day, Don. I got a jam-packed show. We appreciate you tuning in. Hey, Taylor Letterman's going to be with us today. He's a cryptocurrency analysis over there at the trader at simplytrading.com. Uh, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin today. All right, starting to make this comeback, and some folks are favoring that these stocks are going to be soaring. And Taylor's going to bring us a 401 on that, certainly. Don and I also remain focused, laser focused, if you want payment processors and towers. There's a reason why you're not going to want to miss that. They're on the move. Stocks guessing a whole lot more. Stay tuned in right here at Traders Nation. We'll be right back. Traders Nation, if you promise not to tune out, we promise not to talk about you while you're gone. Traders Nation. Traders Nation. Get Pro Online DVD Trader today. Whether you're an experienced trader or just beginning, you'll improve your skills dramatically. Click on the Knowledge Center button to order your copy today. Traders Nation. Delivering what you want when you want it. Traders Nation. Traders Nation. Live. It's on the whole time. Bringing traders coverage of the markets. Solid trading strategies. Potential hot stock movers. World-class guests. Informative callers. And unsurpassed market chatter for traders to take all the way to the bank. You guys got some great stuff coming out. I mean, the great station. Stay on top. This is always changing. It's always fresh. Something new. Stay tuned in. Traders Nation. There's always something to look forward to. Clearly, you can hear the difference. Traders Nation. It's the Traders Nation Network. Hi, I'm Steve Forbes, and you're watching Traders Nation. Yeah, Steve-O. Hey, you can catch that interview with Steve Forbes over at TradersNation.com or our YouTube channel. has got a ton of interviews over there. Uh, but you name the topic, we've got it covered. Uh, TradersNation.com over at uh, TradersNation.com and TradersNation at YouTube. Hey, Don, real quickly, I want to mention about Pro Online Trader DVD. Right? It's a popular hot selling item over at TradersNation.com. It teaches you how to understand stocks, candlesticks, charts, signals, patterns, resistors, you name it, from really easy to, and then it advances you to the harder stuff, okay? Uh, get a copy today, $29.95 plus shipping and handling. We'll get a copy out to you, Don. Really good stuff. Pro Online Trader DVD. Best selling DVD for trading for I don't know how many years, 18, 17, 16 years, Don? Just amazing. Yeah. 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 Get your copy today. Right. Yeah. Great product. It certainly is. Uh, I can't tell you. I mean, the, the testimonials on the loan are amazing. Uh, folks have made so much money um, and didn't know where to there start. Yeah. Um, yep. but we can know where to start right now, Don. Uh, Square, certainly top wow. of our list of payment processors here today. Don, what have we been saying about these payment processors, right? Yeah, they were rolling over. They were Sellers were selling. Things weren't looking good. People were going, what's going on? And we're like, hey, chill, man chill out because at some point these are going to find support and they're going to pivot all right they're going to make that reversal and they're going to start heading north again and what are we finding here with our payment processors Don? well they're certainly reversing today yeah the good companies always come back and we've got square hitting the marks today yeah stocks up a buck 60 nice chart on that one of course uh, paypal is on fire today they're all on fire markets up about 300 yeah. But uh, these good companies, these are the good ones, and we've been watching and following, and they certainly pop yeah. when they uh, come, when the markets come back. Yeah, they certainly do. Let's give some hard numbers out there. Square SQ uh, is the phonics for that one, ticker symbol for that. Currently trading at $66.46 here today, Don. Finally found support, and we were telling them, our viewers and listeners, watch for that support. Well, Square found it at $62.42. It's reversed off of that third day bring the chart up for folks so that way they can take a look at it. let's do that third day green candle being formed here today that is a confirmation of a reversal don some folks use two days i like to go three days it's a you know confirm on a reversal certainly square has done that sq don well square i saw a note out this morning with square cost them 20 bucks to acquire uh 
uh, each new cash app uh, app user. Twenty really? bucks is all it costs them to wow. hook up a user. So, yeah. uh, look, the stock is down off its uh, 52 week high, which is about 101 dollars. Yeah, but uh, this is a good one. Yeah. And we'll keep monitoring it. This is one of the leaders in the business, along with MasterCard and Visa and PayPal. No. And they're here to stay, these companies. Worldwide business, nothing's changed fundamentally in the in the industry. That's right. And let's face it, folks, that's some good real estate between there and that and that old and that fit, current fifty two week high. That's some good real estate there, Don, and potentially some ground that could be made up. All these other payment processors are making that ground right now. PayPal, PYPL currently at $114.38 here today, Don. Um, huge day up today. Again, creating a 52-week yeah. high today, Don. A 52-week high today on PayPal. PYPL, yeah. Don. Yeah. Well, they're certainly outperforming other computer and tech stocks for the year. That's that's for sure. Yeah. And PayPal is right in the mix here. One of the leaders in the trade. And uh, another one that you got to keep an eye on. And even though these stocks uh, are banging out 52-week highs, yeah. Uh, that's not a reason to shy away from them because obviously yeah. they can actually go higher. They certainly can. You know, just because they make a 52 week high today, does that mean it's over? No. How many stocks, especially in our towers, Don, that we talk about, continue yeah. to make 52 week highs, okay, yeah. in a given quarter, yeah. year, or what have you? All right, P PayPal, PYPL, that's the ticker symbol. Hopefully it's on your radar. If it's not, put it down there, okay? Visa. Currently uh, trading at one sixty five oh eight, one hundred sixty five dollars and eight cents. V is the ticker symbol for Visa. Big reversal days, and today is no different. Okay, big surge going on. And Don, check this out too. Today is a dividend day, and Visa is surging right into that dividend of twenty five cents here today. And the dividend absolutely had no effect on today's action. That's how much of a surge coming into the stock. These buyers are coming in. And they surged right in that dividend and didn't even affect it, didn't even notice it, Don. Uh, normally, yeah. what happens is the stock will drop 25 cents to make up for that cost difference, right? Not today. Bring your charts up on Visa. V is a ticker symbol, Don. Well, on a lot of these big big ones like Visa and MasterCard, look, the boys on the street know they're good stocks. And so as a result, that's why they move sometimes, because big hedge funds, uh, own these stocks as well. Uh, a lot of mutual funds and a lot of hedge funds. But a stock like uh, Visa and MasterCard can drop two, three dollars on any given day when it's a seller's market. Yeah. But they always bounce back because these are the, like I mentioned at the outset, these are the great companies that lead the business. And this is another industry along with the towers that we follow. Uh, that has basically a very difficult uh, barrier of entry. Yeah. But that's not to say that some of the uh, companies we follow, the lower price ones, yeah. aren't surging as well. Right, exactly. Uh, growth area, without a doubt. I mean, more and more folks are using, you know, Square, PayPal's, Visa, MasterCard's, yeah. dis digital payment, whatever, however you name it. We're moving money around digitally. We're not. Yes. Not with a dollar bill anymore. I mean, that's old school. I mean, who handles money anymore? It's dirty. Nobody yeah. wants it. I mean, it's like you hand somebody a dollar bill or a 10 or 20, and they're like, what is that? Right? Um, they look at you funny, cross-sided. So payment processing is today, is to the future, Don. It really is, as you always say. And, and before we uh, before we jump over to the towers, uh, I'd be remiss if, on to, if today I didn't mention that PAG, that's that Brazilian company yeah. that came public, I believe, just last year or 18 months ago. Stocks have popped back up to almost $31. It's up almost $3 today. Nice. And if you take a look at this one, 52-week highs, 36 bucks. stock trading at 31 And then we have a new one that has come into focus here uh, with the uh, payment processors, and that's a Russian company with a stock symbol QIWI, and that's a $15 stock. It's up 12% today. Okay. On the banging out a good quarter, so we'll put them on the list and monitor their activities. Interesting. Q I W I Q Quebec International Whiskey International Zephonics. So we'll put that on our list. Hopefully, you'll put it on your list too. Russian payment processor. That's interesting, yes. Don. You know. Well, it's a big, huge market. Look, these are worldwide markets, and uh, believe it or not, a lot of Americans visit Russia, and a lot of Europeans yeah. are in there. And guess, guess what? They're buying items. 
and that's mm -hmm. where the payment processors come in. All right, there you have it. All right, let's move on to Towers AMT. American Tower currently trading at two hundred two dollars and three cents, up thirteen dollars since we spoke about it last. On amazing, creating another yep. fifty-two week high right here. So last time we talked about this stock, and we said, hey. We created a 52-week high, but that shouldn't be afraid of that, right? We just mentioned it again here today. Well, here you have it. It's a prime example. AMT creating another 52-week high for folks today. If you're paying attention, you're making bank up $13, Don, since we spoke about last. Yes. AMT, Alpha Mary Tango, American Tower. Don? Well, American, American Tower is uh, uh, obviously it's, it's a U.S. company, worldwide uh, operations. And I have to say that this 5G is really going to kick it, and they're going to be killing it when these uh, companies uh, expand with 5G, both the small cell towers as well as large. And AM, AMT, which is a leader in the business yeah. uh, worldwide with a big operation in, in India now. And, uh, you know, what can I say? We've pointed this out, like you mentioned, stocks up $13 here. Uh, over the past, what is that, a uh, couple of months? Uh, well, yeah, back, just bouncing right back. Yeah, so yeah, a couple of months ago, it was it was down quite a bit, but just from last week, it's up 13 bucks and continues to move. It's this beautiful chart on this bad boy, AMT American Tower. Before we run out of time, let's go to CCI Crown Castle International, currently trading at 127 dollars 51 right. here today. Don up five bucks. Since we spoke about last, bring the chart up, making uh, this classic stair step climb daily. We're out of time. Handsome looking chart on that one. Uh, so bring your charts up on that. Check it out. CCI. Coming up next, we got Taylor Letterman. He's going to be coming with, up, and we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency, right? Uh, what's going on with Bitcoin? Starting to come back in a big, big way. We're going to find out with Taylor coming up next, right here on Traders Nation. Stay tuned. Traders Nation salutes America. Stay strong, stay proud, and stay in the green with us. Traders Nation Live, bold, and packed for profit every weekday morning. Traders Nation Live, bold, and packed for profit. Sign up today for our weekly HTML newsletter and check out the Traders Nation store for products to enhance your stock trading day. Traders Nation, what you want, when you want it. Traders Nation. Hey, Jeff Carlingsy here from 38 Special, and we're rocking it up right here with Traders Nation. Welcome back. You are tuning in to Traders Nation. My pleasure to have with us here today Taylor Letterman. He's cryptocurrency analyst over there at Trader at Simply Simpler Trading, rather. Taylor, welcome to Traders Nation. How are you today? Great. Thanks for having me. Good, good. So we're looking at cryptocurrency here today, and, and there's this big surge that's coming into the Bitcoin. What's going on there, Taylor? Uh, there's quite a few reasons why Bitcoin is surging. Uh, many of those could be bigger companies making moves into crypto, such as Facebook, Microsoft. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have sort of a short squeeze going in, as well as coordinated buying. Uh, many things really impacting the price of Bitcoin, as well as the other cryptocurrencies in the market. Sure, sure. Um, talking about the squeeze, so let's talk about that. Certainly the bear, bear's been coming in, rather, and uh, the bull, rather, coming in. And, and, and it's sh forces short squeeze that's going on. From the shorts, um, how big is it, and how wide it could it be? Uh, so right now, the key level for us right there in Bitcoin was six thousand, right around six thousand dollars, okay. and it, we just blew that level with a breeze. And I think right around that level, we had a lot of front running. Okay, uh, at the six thousand dollar level, many people were going to short Bitcoin, and around the same time, we had an exchange that lost seven thousand Bitcoin to a hack. Right, and so naturally, people want to jump in front of that news driven. Uh, market event and kind of begin shorting Bitcoin at that level too, and and up not being a non-event and quickly recovered. So right, right. Bitcoin just blasted through that six thousand level. That's interesting. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Beyond is the company that got hacked into. Very interesting story there. But nonetheless, uh, well, we can touch on it now. Actually, let's do this. So so Beyond got hacked into. Seven thousand bitcoins were were stolen, if you will, out of that. Um, it kind of gives us an indication that there's still some work to be done on the security side uh, with Bitcoin, right? And, and how Bitcoin is going to transfer in between each other. Does that make people nervous or, or is it just this topic or this trading is just too hot on it for people to recognize that? Uh, I, th I think it's a bit of both, right? So we yeah. have 
naturally any hack that occurs in the Bitcoin space kind of yeah. puts a little darker shadow over the whole space, the whole crypto space. And sure. We've had a couple of those. Some exchanges don't follow all that great of security protocols. Yeah. Binance um, is probably a good example of one that does, despite the recent hack. They're, they have pretty robust infrastructure. Sure. And they have an insurance fund for situations that occur like this. So okay. um, they immediately shut down any withdrawals and deposits and um, actually recovered all the funds mm-hmm. through their insurance fund. So all of that kind of, at the end of the day, yeah. um, things are okay in, in that area. But I still think there's a lot of concerns I, I waiting think, for some further adoption. I think so, that. too, because I think this area is real new, kind of like the wild, wild west, right? Um, kind of new. And, and I think it's an emerging market. And certainly some folks uh, would like to take advantage of of the wild swings that are in. You know, there's certain traders out there that love that kind of action. I can't blame them, right? Um, but there's risk to that, too. Um, but certainly... Uh, for instance, with this particular company, this is just a good example that, yeah, we need to work on some of that. And you're right, there are some dark areas. And I think uh, I think as the cryptocurrency market emerges, I think it's got to mature still. Your thoughts on maturing? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think we're still very early in the adoption cycle for cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Um, just simply sending a Bitcoin from one person to the next can still kind of be difficult for somebody doing it their first time. And so as we start to build up better use cases and like the user interface of many of these applications or websites yeah. exchanges uh, continue to get improved upon I think adoption will start seeing that ramp up we'll start seeing less of these issues kind of be yeah. exploited yeah and and, it's, and I think as, they, as we can demonstrate or companies can demonstrate if you will those firewalls of safety I think then, then you're going to start getting some more people coming into the space because some people are still going to be shying away from it and certainly um, as this uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market emerges people are going to want that type of safety am I going to be okay if I trade in this area and I think it's in the best interest of the market to be able to demonstrate that and shore up some of those safeties and some of those firewalls um, so it becomes a protected industry. You know, much like, I think where they want to be, Taylor, is I think they want to be in the same space or same area of safety, if you will, um, and, and known like a PayPal or a Square or payment processors, right? I think they want to be next to that in way of the, 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 the thought of being safe. Uh, and certainly, those are right. some of those people are going to want to get there. Hey, uh, big house is coming in and trading, uh, taking a stake in Bitcoin, correct? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I, I don't know too much about the, that necessarily right now, and until we see some like official sure uh, news behind it. Uh, right now, we there's tons of rumors in the crypto space. Yeah. People jumping in, um, trading their own cryptocurrency, such as Facebook. Uh, right, and so it's still a lot of the news. It's sort of in this hype cycle around this move, and we're seeing a lot of new news come out. People making announcements or saying that, yeah, now we're in cryptocurrencies, but uh, <laughs> right. Right. waiting to see how. Once once we kind of let the dust settle around this recent move, then we'll actually start seeing some official press releases and stuff come out. Sure, I and mean, we're seeing a lot of that, don't we? In, in the old days, we used to see a lot of that, where the, the companies that are public companies would come out with news and say, hey, we're a part of this now, or now we're in this business, and certainly it would tend to give a pop to their stocks and what have you. Hey, um, let's talk about, um, so we've got uh, trade wars going on with China right now, big, big in the news right now, right? Um, is this helping or hurting Bitcoin, in your thoughts? Uh, I think for the most part, it, it helps Bitcoin in a way, right? So, yeah. uh, Bitcoin can be sort of seen as like a it's the strongest non-sovereign currency potentially, right? If you right. look at it at that at that point the point of view, and yeah. so if you're in a country where your your local currency can be dipping or dropping yeah. um, in value, and you have tight restrictions around what you can do with your currency in your country, right? You're going to look for a non-sovereign currency that you can actually move into without the government threatening of taking that away or unable to take that away from you. So if the Chinese begin buying up Bitcoin mm-hmm. in large amounts, or especially wealthier individuals in that country, sure, um, we can start seeing Bitcoin continue to rise. And I think we saw a bit of that in 2017. Yeah. Um, and I think we're starting to see another cycle of that now. Yeah, that's interesting. No, Governments really don't know how to handle cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, right? They really don't know how to handle it because where do they, you know, government always has this way of reaching out and, and, and touching something or blessing it or not blessing it. But they don't know how to handle Bitcoin because where do they go to govern it? Uh, right. They can't. Yeah. 
And I think that's it's, the it's appeal like, here, right? That's what we're talking about here, especially with what you're saying, right? Exactly. And even if, if I'm wealthy Chinese uh, and I'm wanting to move money out of the country, yeah. moving into Bitcoin before moving it into another currency yeah. um, is probably the only way to do that anyways. So sure. especially without the government kind of regulating that the movement of funds. Right. So they can easily, many different ways you can buy Bitcoin and trade it without actually having to go on an exchange. Right. Um, so um, as long as you're solving your own problems and avoiding losing your own funds of your bank, sure. moving to Bitcoin, I think is an easy way to do that. So the wealthy literally have a path to move money around, probably uh, anonymously, without having mm -hmm. it being traced, it, that seems to me that, that they would want to have a vehicle like that, but they also have an inherent risk with the price of Bitcoin and the volatility, correct? Trade war started going south, yeah, and then now Bitcoin's gone up 25 30%, sure. um, 100% over the past three, four months. Then why would they want to get out if they just right. turned 100% on the funds they moved into Bitcoin? So it's sort of... Chicken the egg at this point, where they're trying to like just transfer funds and like, oh well, I've gone up 100 percent in three yeah. months, and so why would I yeah. sell now? Right, right, all right. So Bitcoin certainly get a lot of favor. Google's that we're almost out of time. Google's seen a lot of increase. Oh, we're out of time. All right, we got 30 seconds. Hey uh, Taylor, where can we find you at over there at uh, Simpler Trading? Where's that at? Yep, SimplerTrading.com, and then we teach everything from options to crypto. All right, options, crypto, and all that good stuff. Great folks over there. Certainly, Taylor's one of them. Taylor Lenneman, head on over to simpletrading.com today. Taylor, thanks for being with us today. Appreciate it. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Hey, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Appreciate Taylor's time here today. Head on over to that website. Get some more information. Cryptocurrency, Don. Big, you know, it's hot. Yeah. It's coming back in favor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, I want to get back to our towers. Uh, we didn't have enough time. SBAC certainly bested a lot yeah. on our list, even though they're all doing well. Uh, making another 52-week high here today, Don. Uh, $212 where it's currently trading at. Nice. Big there you move. go. Yeah. What, what else can we say, really? 52-week yeah. high. Boom. You know, SBAC. Yep. Um, listen, folks, I got to tell you, these towers are just have been doing phenomenal for us, yep. for our viewers and listeners, and certainly uh, they're going to continue yep. to do well. As like Don says, we got 5G coming through. Um, barrier of entry is nearly impossible unless you got the money to buy out one of these SBACs or CCIs, right, Don? Um, so certainly, you know, should Kurt, be... you left out the best part. They pay dividends. Oh, yes. It's a dividend play. <laughs> Don, that's like the icing yeah. on the cake. That's like welcome to yeah. the party. Okay, that's like... They're, hey, all real, they're all real estate investment trusts, and they all pay dividends, and they're basically all of them. Yeah, at their their fifty two week highs. Yeah, nothing like a good dividend play, right? It's That's like these right. companies why is saying thank you for coming to our party, right, Don? That's right. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Um, so, anything else you got to say on these, Don? Well, uh, but the viewers and listeners out there should keep an eye on these, and just jumping back to our uh, yeah. payers to keep an eye on those new ones, Tags yeah. and the new Russian firm we introduced. Absolutely, Don. Do you own anything we talked about today? No. All right, I don't either. These aren't buy or sell recommendations. We certainly appreciate you tuning in to Traders Nation. Make us a part of your day. We'll see you on the there next edition. That's right, Don. All right. See you on the next edition. Traders Nation. <laughs> the place to be. <laughs>